The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. We must spin the wheel. Let's find out. Find out what it is. You all asked for this. That's, well, some of you. Turbo Pug. All right. We must find out what this is for sure. So, uh, yeah, we all know that I'm now playing a game called Turbo Pug. And let me tell you, off the bat, first impressiones. When I saw what it looked like in the Steam store, because I went and checked up on it because I wanted to see. Because my Steam library says I played it for 4.6 hours, which means that, that that's how long games have been played when the Russians who hacked my account auto-played games to get Steam achievements to, like, I don't know, buy Space Marine, as far as I could tell. <laughs> anyway, regardless, I still have Space Marine on my account. Haven't played it yet. It's on the wheel. Anyway, so, I thought for sure, I was like, this looks like one of my 49 cent games. Like, just the name, the general look of it, like, it just... It seems like one of my 49 cent games. And if you've seen my 49 cent games, um, not all of those games are quality. Um, they're just not. Uh, some of them, there have been many delights over the years, uh, however long it's been, I've been doing this. But like, yeah, you, you will be digging through a fair bit of garbage. So that's just... A, a part of the deal anyway so here's fun thing about this is that immediately immediately as soon as I started playing this I was like oh no I get it <laughs> like because it's an auto runner I mean duh it's an auto runner we all get auto runners and we've all, like, pretty much, we feel like we've played the best that auto runners have to offer. Which, of course, I'm talking about the only two auto runners uh, that are worth mentioning as far as I'm concerned. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to make some people angry. There are plenty of good auto runners. But Bit Trip Runner and the Dinosaur Game when you don't have internet. Those two just masterpieces of the genre anyway um yeah so this one immediately it hit me it it like caught me blind uh it, because i was not prepared to really enjoy just a fun little auto runner this much and the last auto runner that i enjoyed this much immediately was the uh, Mario one. I can't think of its name. It's the mobile game. The Mario mobile game. The first one that ever came out. And the auto runner. You know, that one. Oh man, I had a lot of fun with that game. Uh, when that first came out. And just auto running with Mario. But like, I remember the second I turned that game on on my phone and I do not mobile game by the way <laughs> like I generally do not enjoy mobile games it's just how it's been for some time now um but anyway yeah like that game I really took to and this one I just automatically took to it I was like oh this is fun okay I like this this is good um, because here's what it's got going for it. First of all, a great, fun little soundtrack. You know, I have another dog-based auto runner, and that's Montaro, which is also a game that I enjoy quite a bit. Um, yeah, maybe I like auto runners. I've never considered the question, is that a genre that I care for? I wouldn't have thought the answer would be yes, but apparently it's yes. Uh, as long as they're good and the level design is interesting, you know, um, we all know that that's what makes the difference. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this one with the character design, because here's the fun thing. You can't even tell this from the gameplay, 
but um, the different characters handle differently. Some of them are faster. Some of them, like the cat one with the um, cone flies. So all of a sudden you're playing Flappy Bird. You're not playing Bit Trip Runner anymore. You're playing Flappy Bird. It's a completely different vibe. And, and so, like, just the different... I love it when a game that is a sort of like, okay, we're going to run you through kind of the same course or bits of the same course sort of jumbled up in ways, but when you see the bits, you'll recognize them and think, ah, I know what to do on this kind of a jump. Yeah, you know, like what you see in a lot of auto runners. Just, you know, that sort of, I recognize this portion of the landscape even though it's being presented to me in a novel way right now, you, you sort of get how to do it. Um, anyway, yeah. So uh, th this, it you know, it's funny. It took me a minute, but you can see me getting better at the game in the footage because I started to recognize the patterns and I started to like feel more comfortable with the uh, character movements and whatnot. And also my controls. Apologies that you can see the cursor in the, in the shot for like most of the time because you have to click on play to start playing, but I wasn't playing with my mouse, I was playing with my keyboard. And <laughs> so, sorry about that. I was playing with my keyboard so I would click play and then quickly leave my mouse so I don't fall into a pit um, and get on my space bar uh, so that I can, you know, properly run this run. And you can see me get better at it as I go along. And that's so much fun. Like, a game that rewards you for, you know, learning its patterns and gameplay? Like, I, that's... Okay, look... Uh, my wife took a college course uh, because she had friends who were going into like hotel management and into like designing hotels and whatnot. Um, yeah, these are very wealthy people today. Uh, anyway, so yeah, here's the concept. The concept is what fun is made out of in the type of entertainments that can be provided at a hotel or a resort, uh, that kind of a, a thing. And uh, it also applies to video games. But the thing is this, that fun is being had when the challenge only slightly exceeds the grasp of the person playing the game. So it's like just out of reach, you know, but then you did better this time than you did last time. And that feeling of like, you know, it's funny because it, it feels like personal growth. Like I did something today. I got something done. Oh, what did you do? I learned how to make a dog. <laughs> not jump into a bandsaw. No, it's not a bandsaw. It's a table saw. Definitely a table saw. Um, anyway. So, yeah. It's a silly little game. It is a silly little game. Let's not kid ourselves. This is a one-trick pony that tricked itself out into making it look like it has a lot more tricks. So, you know... Like, that's the thing with auto runners, is that the best ones understand that, like, you don't change the game too much, but you change uh, the way the game is played slightly, and that's what makes the difference. Th you know, I'm talking about, like, think about Jetpack Joyride back when that was playable, before they made it an ad nightmare. Uh, have you played it recently? God! Half Brick should be ashamed of themselves. I'm sorry. I have opinions about this, and I don't mean to get into them now. But, 
um, back when Jetpack Joyride was playable, um, that game, you know, the different vehicles, you know, the, uh, like, uh, the jet ski that would do the, you know, the down and up motion, um, the sleigh and the way that that would work, the, um, magnet suit, uh, the flappy bird one, you know, all of those different power-ups and vehicles and stuff handled in completely different ways. Did it change the way the level was put together? No. The level was put together the same way, but that slight change in gameplay made all the difference in the world in terms of how fun it was to play the game. So, what I'm seeing here with our friend Turbo Pub, and sorry that I've, you know, walked in circles so much talking about every other, you know, uh, auto runner on the face of the earth, except for, you know, Temple Run and freaking Subway Surfers. Uh, aside from those, I've talked about all the rest. Now, I'm sure there's some obvious one I haven't talked about. The fact is, like, this gets what all the good ones get. And it does what only the good ones do. And I have played some terrible auto runners in my time. And those terrible auto runners are all, they all try to switch it the other way around and be like, no, we're gonna make all of the jumps unpredictable. We're gonna make all the level designs like completely ramshackle shoddy. Who knows who put this together? or whether they play tested it at all. Like, oh, I've seen some just bad, bad auto runners in my time. Cause I go digging in that 49 cent bin. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought that's what this was going to be, but it's not. It's the exact other thing. It's the good kind. Um, granted, is this going to be the best auto runner you've ever played in your entire life? No. Is it really good? Yes. Is it $1.99 now, but goes on sale for cheaper than that? A lot, because I know I've seen it in the bargain bin. Um, yeah, totally. So, uh, pick this up when it's on sale, because of course you should. Let me put a final score on it that will, you know, surprise nobody, and then we'll be done. Okay, I am giving Turbo Pug an 8 out of 10 stars. Just kidding. It's not stars. It's Nyan Cat. The Nyan Cat is a star. A beautiful, bright, shining star in our firmament of celebrities and stars. We all instantly know the cat with the Pop-Tart body uh, who shoots rainbows from his Pop-Tart behind. We, we know this cat, we love this kitty cat, Nyan Cat, we love you, collectively, as a, an Earth. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going at 8 out of 10. Now here's the stupid thing, is that there are games that I give an 8 out of 10 to and they've got like, you know, story, character development, and like, you know, uh, 3D graphics. <laughs> that require, like, you know, a decent, uh, video card and stuff, you know, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of things, uh, to some of these other games that have gotten eight out of tens, um, but I always look at things in terms of my enjoyment, uh, because, like, me enjoying a really good pick-me-up, put them down game is not less than uh, me enjoying a pick me up and 20 hours later you're still like just barely out of the freaking tutorial for how to play the game and there's like you know 300 more years of lore to learn before you really even understand the world that you're in you know uh yeah i enjoy games like that absolutely love love the grindy RPGs but 
Uh, you know, I don't enjoy the pick me up, put them downs of quality any less than that. So, um, yeah, it, it's uh, it is a good game. I like it. I have fun with it. Apparently, I really like auto runners. I learned that about myself. Uh, <laughs> I had never considered the question for real. I'd never thought about the fact: Do I like auto runners? I would have thought like oh, I probably haven't played that many and then as I start to think about it I'm like oh I played a few I have played a few anyway uh <laughs> but yeah this is a good one and I enjoy it eight out of ten anyway people that will do it for this one I will see you in the next one okay bye